Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome back to Foundation. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because I'm a little bit anxious about our village at the minute. It turns out we are getting a little bit low on wool, which means we are getting very low on cloth, which means soon enough, we are probably going to start running out of clothes. Likewise, we're low on flour, which means soon enough, we might start running out of bread as well. We were, last time, running out of logs. Fortunately, we seem to have fixed that with the addition of a new lumber camp up here and a new lumber camp just in here, which I'm hoping will do good things for us. I've also got two more fishermen working here, which is fantastic news. That's going to be more fish for everybody. And our happiness is 95, which I think is the highest it's ever been. So, at the minute, things are going well. But I'm really thinking that today is going to be... It's going to be the tipping point. Today is going to be the day where it either we make it or we break it. I am working on another sheep farm down here that I'm hoping will do good things. I am going to go to uh, go to each of these and go one, two, three, four, five for five more sheep. And I'm going to go here. One, two, three, four, five for five more sheep. In the hopes that that does good things, I reckon another sheep farm is going to be needed though. And we are, you know, it is prioritized. So might very well get that done soon enough. In terms of the bread situation, well, to be totally honest, I would really like to get more millers working in here. And I'd really like to get more good things going. I mean, we have a decent amount of uh, a decent amount of wheat in here as it is, and I think this is that's flour. Actually, we don't have much flour, and I think that's probably because these mills are either too far away or there's two of them here that don't have staff. These ones down here do have staff, and they are producing just not very well. And I'm thinking that the people that work here might actually live kind of far away, so. I'm just not sure. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire those two. And I'm going to fire those two. We have an envoy. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and send my troops for that little bit of money that I don't mind taking. So we'll send out all the soldiers. We'll do the usual thing. This might help us a little bit. We shall see. But now that we've fired the people working in those two windmills, I just want to make sure... So, yeah, you're unemployed and you're unemployed. So, they are going to be working relatively close. I don't know if those were the two that were working there before. I just want to make sure the people working in the windmills are living nearby. Uh, this sheep farm is also done. So, let's see. Do we have anyone could work here? I don't know what. I don't know where these transporters are working or how many of them there are. Mail 1413, mail 6. We can't take those two. Female 1441, we can't take you. See, this is the thing. Like, taking a 1118, can I grab you? Let's see, 1118, I absolutely can. We'll grab you and we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, let's just go up until it talks about complaining to the developers about the game crashing. And a couple more. There we go. So that's going to be a whole bunch of sheep. And I'm trying to not abuse that system because obviously the game doesn't have the mechanic in at the minute for... Like, getting sheep another way. It's just a button, so... We'll see what happens. I'm hoping that that one farm is going to be enough to fix things. Because we are getting a little bit lower on clothes. We are pretty much out of cloth at the minute. I mean, the Weaver Hut is producing. It's just slow. And honestly, I'm thinking we might need another one. So we'll see what comes about. We'll see what happens. We're going to have to hope for the best, because once we start losing clothes, that's when we're going to start having some real, real problems. The good news is the church over here is actually done. So people are going to be very pleased about that. Uh, these buildings, I think, are paused at the minute, if I remember right. They absolutely are. Not that they urgently need to be. We could actually finish this one fairly easily, and I think I might... Actually, I'm going to keep that paused. I want to keep things paused just to make sure that we're focusing in the right areas. Now, looking here, we are starting to get a little bit of wool in there. I mean, this is producing already. This one's producing. This one is not producing. But I'm just really hoping that we can we can stay on top of this. 
legitimately, legitimately really, really nervous because clothing and bread are both sort of essential for keeping people really happy. I forgot we had another weaver's hut here as well. We might need more sheep farmers. I wonder if we could get them elsewhere, like start moving them around a little bit, like up here or something. I guess I, I don't see why we couldn't do this. Might not be a bad idea. I mean, it's not an ideal location, but it would give the sheep farm a little bit more time to stockpile, which might be worthwhile. So let's just chop out this area here. And just sort of go around, go down here. And then we'll do a sheep farm in there and see what comes of it. I think we also need to go in and do reforestation and just neaten it up a little bit because it is a little bit, a little bit sharp there. So we'll just go around, do something like that. And uh, we'll just fill this up a little bit. We'll take it off of the uh, the forbidden zone, of course, because we don't want that. And then just do that sort of thing. There we go. So yeah, that'll, you know, be all nice. We do have, or we should have, a working forester camp up here as well. So hopefully that works out. But let's go ahead and get a uh, another sheep farm. And let's just throw it in... I guess just throw it in there. I wouldn't want to live next to it, I'm going to be honest. Really wouldn't want to live next to it. Also going to bulldoze you, because I kind of want to put some, uh, I kind of want to do something decorative here. So let's go to market, and let's go to fence, and let's just do a little something like this, just to make it look like the sheep farm's a little more enclosed. I was thinking of doing this in some of my other ones as well, but I just want to see if it actually does anything, or if the sheep just walk straight through it. Because if they just walk straight through it, then there's no point in doing this. But if they don't walk straight through it, then... Well, that's okay by me. Uh, so we'll do this. We'll bring it down this way a little bit. That'll be sort of one of our entrances. And we can sort of just curve it over towards the, uh, the other road. And maybe have sort of a way to walk through the sheep farm. Should someone wish to do so. Just as long as there's no rabid sheep. I have, in fact, seen the... Uh, there's a movie... Uh, what was it called? I think it was like Black Sheep or something like that. And I, it was on, I don't know if it's still on Netflix, but it was on it years ago. I think it's set in like New Zealand or something. And it's a movie about like an infection in the sheep population. Yeah, that's a sentence I said. And it basically turns them into were sheep. Or the sheep go rabid, but there is a were sheep or something like that. It's, it's a hilariously bad movie just throwing that out there anyway that's done so let's uh let's see what happens here let's prioritize construction of the sheep farm and let's hope that good things come of that because clothing's getting way down there we might actually start have to we might have to start buying it honestly let's see do we actually have clothing trade we do oh no we don't no we don't at all okay that's a worry I don't think we're selling anything right now. We are buying tools, which I think is probably a good idea. But in terms of clothing, nope. I'm going to have to keep making that. Things could get a bit rough. Things things around here, I feel, are about to get a little bit tricky. Just a little bit. Oh, boy. Uh, good news is logs are on the way for the sheep farm. I would really like to see my builders working on it together rather than just one at a time, but sure. That's fine. Uh, we have four cloth in there. How much cloth do we have in storage? Do we have any? We have four. So the tailors, they're still working. They're still they are still trying to, uh, to make everything here. We actually don't have a tailor over there. Interesting. We could probably lose a fisherman. Might as well. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna want a tailor over here. That was kind of that was kind of a big deal. Let's see. How's happiness looking? Four villagers lacking housing or a well or something like that. That's not great. Oh man. Oh, what is this? Berries. I'm gonna say no. I'm just gonna keep everything. Just gonna do the usual thing and just keep everything. I don't really want to. Uh, don't really want to go all out there. Soldiers are back from a mission as well. That's beautiful news. So that's going to be a nice little boost to, uh, well, I would say gold, but gold is already is already up there. So not going to worry too much there. I think I might prioritize construction on this, though. I think I am actually going to do this because 
I think we have a bailiff office on here, and if we can get another bailiff, then we can, you know, lower the impact of unhappiness, essentially. So, getting another bailiff might actually, might help us out a lot. It really, it really might do us a few favors. Oh, we are about to run out of clothes. It's about to happen. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not looking forward to this. Can we buy wool? Is there anyone that's selling it? You're selling it. And trade's enabled. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, okay, start buying wool. Let's start buying wool here. I think we can afford this. So, wool, and then buy it until our inventory reaches like 200. It's going to be super expensive, but I think we need to be doing this. So, let's let's do like 250. I think it was two gold per wool, so this would be 500 in uh, in trade but that'll that'll help us a lot i think was it was it 200 or two per thing yeah it was okay that'll that'll be fine we can make that work two two gold per wool and that'll give us 500 in trade we can we can make that work uh oh god this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting whatever that's uh that's fine uh we have warehouses here that'll do the trade so that'll that'll hopefully help us out that'll hopefully help us out what's our inventory on for wool at the minute three we have no flour as well we do have a lot of wheat though so those mills need to get up and running let's see you're unemployed and you're unemployed so you can work in the mill and then these three mills should work pretty well this one's still waiting to be fired annoyingly but whatever uh, these ones over here we don't really have anyone can work these right now. This one down here. Don't really have anyone there either. We could take the bailiff, but I'd really rather not. So we'll see what comes of that. Do we have a trader on the way by any chance? I'd really... There's the trader there. I feel like we didn't get the wool. I feel like I was a little bit late on the trade, so that's bad news. That's 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 very bad news. We, we're so close to running out here. I'm not... I'm not happy about this. I am not happy about this. Oh, this is actually coming together. Not bad. We are we have sorted our wood problem, which means we should have sorted our tools problem. We actually just went up to 20 clothes as well, so that's a start. Man, I'm so nervous. I mean, the bread situation's not getting fixed here either, but I'm trying to uh I'm trying to do that, you know? If we can get more flour, we'll be okay. That's that's kind of where we're at. Okay, let's see. You're unemployed, so you can work in there. I'm really hoping we can fix both of these problems at the same time. I think the trade will help. I do think trading for wool is going to help. We do have the money to do it, I think. And, I mean, we get envoys relatively regularly, so I think we can afford... To lose 500 gold here and there on a bit of trade. At least I really hope we can. Now let's see. Anyone unemployed? You are. Let's go and spawn sheep until it says about talking to the devs. Okay, that was one extra. There we go. And they do just walk through the fence. Oh no, they don't. They're going out the entrance. Well, that's nice. At least they're sort of following the, the thing. I mean, you can just walk straight into the sheep farm if you want, but... Whatever. That's all right. That should help us. That should be able to stockpile sheep and sheep. Stockpile wool a little bit easier because it's a bit further away. So we should see larger quantities of wool coming out of this sheep farm versus, uh, versus elsewhere. In fact, I'm wondering if I could get away with another one over here. Like throw another sheep farm in here and uh, hope that that does good for us. I think I'm going to do it. I think I might do it. Yeah, let's do it. And let's do the same thing with the... Uh, with the market as well for the fences. So this one's going to go this way. And sort of around the back of the sheep farm. I'm not really sure where it's going to go necessarily. But we'll make it look nice. As we usually do. Uh, so bring this down a little bit. Bring this down this way a little bit then just sort of wrap it around a bit and then i guess towards the road and along the road in some way or another and again let's hope that the sheep actually stay confined to it these ones sort of did they tried to 
But this one's going to have one way in, one way out. And the way in and way out is going to be a little bit further away from the sheep. So, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. So, let's wrap it around the well as well. I don't really think I want to put that in the sheep farm. So, bring that down to there. Bring it to there. And then we'll sort of have the entrance for it. I guess here could work. So something like that for the entrance. I like that. Definitely looks like a sheep farm. You know, it looks it looks proper. It looks the part. So let's prioritize construction of the sheep farm and get that done. We still haven't run out of clothes and people are still happy. There are a lot that are lacking clothes right now, though. So we are going to need to get like clothes production needs to go up. And honestly, I don't think the production being low is anything to do with the not enough tailors. It is just not enough, well, cloth, basically. So, we might end up getting to a point where we need another weaver's hut over here. That could end up being a thing, actually. Also, how's this going? This is actually nearly done. This is really close to being done. That's fantastic news. That's going to help our treasury a lot. I'm, I'm really curious to see what, like, the tax office and all that stuff does as well. So that's beautiful news that that is very nearly finished. As for this, I mean, it'll get there in time, I hope. Oh, the Lord Manor's done. There we go. That's pushed our treasury up to 4,450, which is a beautiful thing. We are going to need a tax collector, I guess. Do we have anyone unemployed can do that? Doesn't really look like it, does it? I might take a woodcutter. I'll take a soldier, actually. There we go. And then for the bailiff, job learning screen increase. Let's see. Happiness impacted less. There we go. So you're going to be our bailiff. So we have a tax collector. I'm not really sure what that's actually going to do, but we have a tax collector. All right. I've also immediately forgotten what job I took that person out of. I think it was fisherman. So let's uh, fisher's hut. Anyone nearby that's unemployed? Doesn't really look like it. And I don't think I want to take any of those people. What about this food? There's a food stall empty? Interesting. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. Do we have anyone unemployed here? Bailiff, farmer, baker, market, market, tailor, transport, transport, farmer, market. Oh, dear. Some forest. Quite a few foresters empty. Some foragers huts. We really need to start filling up a lot of these jobs. Same with the woodcutter jobs as well. We need to get those all filled up again. Either way, let's have a look. We got another sheep farm over here. Let's see if this is going to help us. You're unemployed. Let's go until it complains about the developers. There we go. And every one of the sheep just left for the other field. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All of them. All of them left. Oh, no, they're coming back now. There we go. All right. Well, we got two sheep farms down there. This one's actually got 15, 18 wool in there. So... Hopefully good things to come from that. Let's see. This is where we store the wool, isn't it? So what if we were to do... Let's take a soldier and get them working in there. And I think maybe if we can get someone here as well. No, we can't. That's all right, though. So I think having the two... Having a couple more transporters for this will make it easier to go and collect all of the... Uh, all of the stuff for the for the warehouses. It'll save the, the weavers themselves maybe going and getting it. Bread is still dropping. Uh, bread is is definitely still dropping, which is really alarming. I think I'm going to actually take the bailiffs and assign them to work in here. I really don't think we have much of a choice because we need these things up and running. Uh, fisherman, fisherman. Yeah, I'll take the fisherman instead as well. And then down here, let's see if we got another fisherman I could take. We actually don't. I'll take a single farmer. I think the mills need to be up and working because looking at our stockpile, we do have wheat. We do not have flour. We need more flour. And I mean, wheat is sort of plateaued, but we can, again, we can make this work. Um, I do think we're going to need a larger residential zone in here. This one's actually filling up over here as well. So what I think I'll do is I'm going to have to extend. I think I am going to have to push the residential th zone through the trees here, which is something I was kind of gonna not do for a while but i i think we kind of need to at this point 
So we'll bring that straight over. We'll bring that straight over. And we'll hopefully get some houses in there for uh, a few more jobs up and around the mills and the farms and all that stuff. You want fish? I'm keeping it all. Keeping every single one of them. They're my fish. That is what they are. We could probably also get away with the job going sort of, or some houses sort of going this way a little bit and bring them down straight across, something like that. Just a little bit extra up there to uh, really fill the area up. I mean, we need houses down here as well. I actually have a bit of uh, a bit of residential zoning down here that I, I put in between episodes, but I don't think it's doing much for us yet. So let's just see if we can... Let's just expand it a little bit like that. We'll bring it across a little bit more there. I'm trying to keep a tree line between the uh, between the keep and uh, the houses, but I don't know how well that's going right now. Let's see. Let's do that as well. We'll see what happens. We'll see if that works. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, we'll figure something else out. That's that's pretty much what this game is becoming at this point. If, this, if something doesn't work, maybe something else will. It's pretty much where we're at. Let's see, 12 in there, 12 in there. That's all right. Clothing seems like it's on a little bit of an uptick. It actually looks like there is a decent amount of wool in here as well. What about you? How much wool do you have? A decent little bit. Definitely think we need more. I'm definitely thinking maybe a weaver's hut over here could be could be an idea. Just next to the, uh, next to the farms. I think this one will be a little bit more direct for this area. So we'll get a weaver's hut in there. We'll prioritize it. And I think I'm also going to... Let's see. I think we'll prioritize this. We have nearly got the wood. In fact, we do have the wood for it. So we'll prioritize the other Lord Manor as well. Which, oh my god, that's a lot of wood. But we'll get that done. We'll get that done. And we can uh, hope that good things come of it. Oh, we can get the hunter's hut. We can't get this, but we can't get the hunter's hut. That'd be another type of food. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that almost gives us everything. Yeah, we're gonna need to get uh we're gonna need to get a hunting zone at some point. That's for sure. Definitely, definitely gonna need to get some hunting zones going. Uh clothing is actually up to 46 right now. Bread is Honestly looking like it might be climbing. How's flour doing? No. Well, actually, that's a step in the right direction. Let's see about these farms then, because we are... See, this is the problem. We don't have people living close enough to these farms. I think I'm going to push for some residential back here. I think we're going to have to. So let's go straight across here. We'll go straight down. We'll go straight across. And uh, we'll go back up. That whole area is not going to be staying. Don't worry. We're just going to put the rough residential zone in to start with. And then pretty much straight across here is going to be taken out. And that'll give us a decent little bit of uh, residential close to the farms, assuming people actually, you know, move in there, which they probably won't to start with, to be totally honest. We're going to need to get a well over there. We'll probably need to get a market over there. So we'll start with a well just down here. And uh, we'll put a well sort of up there as well, I guess. Not as close, but that's all right. Let me have a look at this. How's this going? Uh, so this is 413 and 455. Not bad. I reckon they'll probably work in construction for a while. Ooh, an envoy. Not bad. That's going to be good news. So let's deploy my troops as per usual. And I think what I can do is, at this point, I could probably increase the amount of... Uh, I can probably afford to increase the amount of wool that we're actually buying here. So let's take that up to 400. Because we are, I'm just noticing top of the screen, we are actually low on clothes again. Happiness is still alright, but I want to get this clothes thing sorted. But I think 400 becomes 800 gold in the purchase. I think since we can store up to 4,450 and we have 3,500, I think we'll be alright. I think we can make that work relatively easily. I'm also thinking I want a uh, reforestation zone over here, just around the uh, around the church a little bit. I'm gonna do some reforestation. Well, maybe, yeah, I was gonna say maybe, but I think I think we will. I think I can decorate this with uh, with some trees. We don't want them too close to the water. 
We also don't necessarily want them too close to the church, so we're going to have to do something with this to make it work, but I definitely want some trees over here, and I don't really, I don't really want to place them myself. So, we'll see what we can do. But we'll do something like that. We can uh, take that bit out. And I think we can take all of the sort of middle, middle part out just to sort of give the church its own space. And that should hopefully give us a few trees out there if we get a forester that'll work the island. Because right now we don't actually have one. I mean, this guy's up here, but he's obviously working on that space rather than the, uh, the little island down there. So that's all right. Let's see, how are these looking? Nine wool and nine wool. Okay. That's fair enough. I mean, it'll be a, it'll be an immediate production, which is a good thing. You know, the wool will get made here. The cloth will get made here. And then it'll get picked up and taken to... Well, actually, it'll be picked up and taken to this tailor right here. So, that'll be a beautiful thing as well. And it looks like bread might be on the increase as well. There's a chance that we've sorted this. I'm not certain, but I think there's a chance. The Weaver's Hut's done. Let's see. You, you are unemployed and you are unemployed, so you can both work in there. Bread is on the rise. Clothing looks like it's on the rise as well. Wheat looks like it's on the decline, though, which is a bit of a worry. So I think we are going to need more farmers. I think we did lose a few to become different things. Like, this farm has no one working in it whatsoever. So I think I'm going to take a fisherman to work in there. I mean, obviously, that's not the ideal way to do things, but that's the way we're going to have to do things. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Market, no, no one in there. And not really anyone in there I want to take either. So we got that farm back up and working. Over this way, this farm is already working. This bakery is working as well. This mill is not. Let's take a... Rose and Carla the transporters. Where do they work? So Rose and Carla. I don't actually know where they live either. That's the question. So Rose and Carla both... So Rose is here. Where's your workplace? Your workplace is there. So that mill would probably be about the same distance. You work in moving the polished stone. And then Carla works in moving the... Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I think we are going to take Rose and we are going to take Carla to work up here. Because that'll be a bit more direct as well. Now, we did just get... Oh, my. We're up to 5,550 because this is done. Not bad. Look at that. That looks fantastic. I'm really pleased with that. I like that it's kind of in the water as well. I, I like that as a touch. I'd love like a... Like a water wheel right there would be fantastic. Just saying. Would look fantastic. Let's do a little bit of Forbidden Land here as well. Just to... Uh, just to make sure that, you know, they are using the uh, the bridge correctly because right now they're absolutely not so something like that then straight across and then a bit of extraction just to uh just to make sure that's all where it should be so that should help the bridge get used properly and i i'm kind of thinking that we're on the right path here i think i think we're taking steps in the right direction I mean, this is up and running. This is still going to be running. I mean... Oh, this doesn't have a well next to it. Now, that's something it's going to need. So, let's put a well right there. Let's also prioritize that. Just to get it done sooner than later. There is a well up here, but that's not really great either. Now, let's see. We are going to need transporters here. So, we don't really have anyone unemployed. And we don't really have anyone unemployed. I don't think we... I think we could probably get away with saying just give me some random unemployed villagers for those transport jobs. I think we can get away with doing that. I don't think that's too big a deal. So we'll see what happens with that particular thing. Um, we're looking all right for wool again, which is lovely news. Wool is 229 right now. So we will still be buying it. We are still going to be buying wool, but that's that's all right. This is actually doing a fantastic job already. This is a little bit empty right now, but I think we have some uh, cloth going to it. Yeah, we do. We got a little bit in there. Okay. That's not so bad. This is a decent little production area, which is exactly what we want it to be. 
Over here is technically a decent little production area as well. And then up here is hopefully going to be a decent production area too. Although I do, I do mean hopefully. That's a pretty big hopefully. I mean, these farms don't have the staff that I'd like them to have. And we are going to be getting a little bit low on fish if I keep pulling people out of those jobs. Because we have been doing that. We are... We are ripping people out of these fishermen jobs. So let's just make sure that we keep as many of these staffed as we can. Because these are these are important jobs. I mean, I'm taking people out of them to do different things. But they are, they are still important jobs. So we'll get those staffed. Uh, this one's fine. This one's fine. This one's alright as well. I just want to go down all of these and make sure that they are still fully staffed. Because, like I said, we've been pulling people out of these to do different things. It looks like the majority of them are still working, which is beautiful news. I also need to, and I think I've mentioned this before, I need to get that mod for this game that adds a bunch more names to it. Yeah, it's looking, oh, this one's not got anyone, and there isn't really any, anyone we could put there. So we'll not worry too much about that one. Also, charcoal burners. Oh, we do have two of them. Okay. Okay, well, it looks to me like bread has been sort of sorted. And it looks to me like clothing has been sorted as well. We do have villagers lacking clothes. We do have some lacking housing slash wells. I don't know what that symbol means. But I think the problem, I think the crisis, at least, has been averted. I think it's fair to say. Uh, the We have a bunch of wood. We have a bunch of planks. We are using them for different things, but I think I think the crisis has been averted, which is just beautiful news. I'm honestly really, really pleased that uh, this has managed to work out. Because, to be totally honest, I didn't think it would. I, I honestly wasn't convinced it would. I thought we were going to have a repeat of what happened with our first city, but it looks like we're okay. I mean, we still we're still not perfect on clothes. I mean, I want to stockpile them. I want to have a huge amount of them before I'll start bringing more people in. But I think a little bit more work and we're going to be okay.